Hey gamers, what's good? Sega Dreamcast was released in 1998, first in Japan, then on September 9th, 1999 in North America. It was well received with excitement and anticipation of great games to come. Unfortunately, the Dreamcast was missing some key features like DVD playback, lack of third party support, and internet capability, which came later on. It was outsold by the Sony PlayStation and eventually discontinued in March of 2001, selling 10.6 million units. However, the Dreamcast features classic Sega gameplay and a mix of nostalgia with over 600 titles keeps this system close to gamers' hearts. Today is a quick how-to process on adding a Dreamcast emulator to your PC. This will work on Windows 7, 8, 10, 32, and 64-bit operating systems. The PC I am using has an i5 Intel processor with 12 gigs of RAM. First you will need 7-zip or WinRAR. Both of these links will be provided in the description below. Second, you will need ROMs. This is CoolROM.com. Always use the alternative download link. Never these two. Sega Dreamcast. The ROMs usually come zipped, which you can open with 7-zip or WinRAR, as mentioned earlier. Third step, download the folder DMAL 64-bit or 32-bit based on your operating system. I included them both in the links below. For today's example, I'm going to be using the 64-bit version. Now that you have your download, you can right-click and you can extract here. Or you can double-click and drag and drop into your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now I can go ahead and delete this. Go ahead and double click to open the folder. You can see that I've already added a ROMs folder in there. We can open that up. And this is where your BIOS is going to be. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop my ROM in there. This is where you would place all of your ROMs. Do not place any files inside of the BIOS or the DC folder. Go ahead and hit back. And now we can launch our emulator. So now this message pops up, we need to configure our BIOS. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now you see right here it says plug in pass, ROMs and BIOS. I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And uh, actually you can see it, it's already there. If it's not there then you can hit add. And this is where my desktop is. DMAL, ROMs, and that's where the BIOS folder is, the one I showed you earlier. You can choose to leave this folder on your desktop or place it in your documents wherever you like, but this is basically where you're going to launch your emulator from. So now I'm going to go ahead and select OK. This is what the menu looks like. From here I can configure my video. I'm going to go ahead and select 16 by 9 because I like it on the 16, 16 by 9 screen. You can select stretch or 4 by 3 which is the original aspect ratio. I do want to start it in full screen. You can change this to 64. If you do have a beefier PC, you might want to go ahead and change that to 64. I'm going to click OK config and now I can configure my controls. This is the Dreamcast controller and this is the controller that I will be using today. You can use any type of USB controller for the PC or an Xbox controller if you like. Okay so just go ahead and select the button that you would like to program and then you would program that on your controller. And now you just go ahead and do the same for all the rest. And now just go ahead and click OK. That is going to be my controller for Joystick 1 or Joy 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we will go back to full screen. So now that our controller is set, I'm going to go back to Config, Plugins and Paths. 
And now from here I'm going to go ahead and select GDR image. Click OK. Go back to config. GDR ROM. From here you select your ROM path. Hit select. Remember it's on our desktop. ROMs. And there is our ROM. Click open. Click OK. Go to File. Run Dreamcast. And there it is. Now if you want to get out of this mode you, on your keyboard you can hit Alt, Enter. And it'll bring that down so you can close that out change your ROMs or do whatever you like. So if you don't want to run in full screen from config you can come back to video, deselect start in full screen then click OK. Now I'm going to go to file and run Dreamcast. Now that it's not in full screen you can see that the options at the top left corner have reappeared along with frames per second. So this is a good way to make changes to it when it's not in full screen. So guys, this is the site where I got the emulator. It is Dmall is the name of the emulator. And you can download it here. This is the 64-bit. This is the site for the 32-bit version. Now keep in mind, if you do decide to download it from these sites here, um, you will have to search the internet for a BIOS that will work for uh, the Dreamcast. If you do download the mega file that I provided for 64-bit or 32-bit, I've already included the BIOS for both of those. Installation is the same for both 32 and 64 bit. This is the basic setup for the Dmall Dreamcast. You can always go back in and make changes to the configuration to see what works best for you. I would like to hear your opinion on the Dreamcast. Let me know if you like or loathe this video. This is Chris Hinchman and thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support and watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Happy gaming. Please hit like and this icon to subscribe.